I'm Chris Day from Major League Lacrosse. With the MLL draft just around the corner on January 10th from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here live on the MLL YouTube channel, we continue our draft previews. We bring in Quint Kesnick, Major League Lacrosse analyst for ESPN, Lax United, Inside Lacrosse, to break down the top players by position. And Quint, let's start with the top senior attackman in the country who you see going early in this year's MLL draft. This draft class is a very strong class in terms of attack when there are seven guys I think they can get taken uh, in the top two rounds, a lot of goal scorers in the mix. Let's start with Jordan Wolf of Duke, uh, right-handed. You talk about blinding speed. He had a very, very good regular season last year. He had a tremendous playoff. Duke obviously won the national title. I, I expect uh, Jordan to be a, a first-round draft pick. Really like the improvement in his game in terms of his passing on the left side of the goal. Next guy would be Kieran McCardle, St. John's lefty. Huge point totals. He's a quarterback of that offense. He's great in two-man games. Uh, I, I think he, he can jump right in at the Major League Lacrosse level. He's athletic enough. He's got good hips. He's tough. He gets the ball in the middle of the field. From a shooting standpoint, you got to like Mark Cockerton, lefty. Kind of burst on the scene last year. He takes a lot of shots, but he had to. It was a Virginia offense that really wasn't doing much. What I love about Cockerton is the physical nature of his game. He leans in, he uses his elbows, his shoulders, his hips, and he gets to good shooting spots. He's a proven goal scorer. He's got kind of a veteran game to him. Uh, Justin Ward, Loyola, quarterback. You want a passer behind the goal who can feed cutting middies, who can feed the crease, uh, a player who makes his teammates better, and that's Justin Ward. He was an unsung member of their national title team a few years back. Last year, again, put up monster numbers. A lot of guys don't talk about Justin Ward, but he's strong and he's smart and he has great vision. Uh, Miles Thompson, Albany. You know, you got the three Thompsons up there. Miles last year missed some ball games. He had huge stats. Uh, he fits in right away at the Major League Lacrosse level as a goal-scoring third-type crease attackman. He can be very, very successful in this league. Tom DiNapoli is a guy from Towson not getting as much hype as some of the others. Really big second half of the season last year. Really athletic. He was a high school option quarterback, Limbrook High School on Long Island. What I like about uh, DiNapoli, he can play attack or midfield. And the last attack one I think that's worth mentioning is Brandon Mangum, uh, Yale University. Good year last year. Yale made the quarterfinals. I expect Yale to be strong again. You know, this guy's not great at anything, but he has no deficiencies to his game. He's a good passer, good medium range shooter. He can finish from the inside. He takes a hit and he's a great leader. So those are the seven attackmen that I see getting drafted uh, somewhere probably in the top 25 picks. All right, Quint, thanks for your time. So those are the seven top attackmen in Quint's mind in the MLL draft. Quint and Evan Washburn will bring you the MLL draft live January 10th from Philadelphia right here on the MLL YouTube channel. For more videos like this, Evan Washburn's team previews, other by position previews from Quint, subscribe to the MLL YouTube channel.